All right, YouTube, so today's a little bit of a change of pace. So I know you guys are up there, which might seem a little weird um, because I don't typically do any videos of me uh, just driving around, you know? And so this car is new to me. It's a Ford Focus ST 2015. Um, I've been pretty into cars for quite a while now. Um, but I just, you know, I was in college for four years and um, before that, obviously high school. And now that I'm a full-time engineer coming out of college, um, I finally had enough money to where, and uh, you know, not just the money side of things, but also like my car was, you know, my old car, my Honda Fit had like 220,000 miles on it. So I'm currently working on selling that. And um, basically I got this car and it's something, I've just wanted to have a fun car um, to play with for quite a while now. And for me, this is just, kind of the perfect embodiment of that car um, and I know this is a bit of a change of pace for anybody who's been watching my drone stuff but um, don't worry we're gonna go drive somewhere to go fly drones so for now I'll just take you along with me and we can do some chatting and uh, you know enjoy a little bit of car content and let me know what you guys think about it um, but yeah I just want to go for a drive on this I don't know how much you guys can see. I tried to get it uh, aimed pretty well, and you guys got like the whole cabin view, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I, I got you guys mounted. It's an interesting setup. I'll have to take a picture or something and post it up on the video. But um, it's you guys are mounted up on the the moon roof right now on the glass, and then I just have it like a really wide angle uh, GoPro view. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys can get some cool. Uh, views of me shifting and you know rate my driving skills but anyway we're just gonna go drive around a little bit and um i don't know just have a good time you know it's a nice sunday uh it's nice and sunny out so i just wanted to go for a little bit of a drive um and you know honestly as far as drone content goes like this winter has been absolutely terrible like if you look around there's no snow like there's hardly any snow on the ground here um yeah, it's pretty awful. Okay, you guys just fell. <laughs> Curious how many of you guys drive manuals. I know uh, manual cars are just kind of dying off, but I think my goal in life <laughs> right now at least is to always have a manual because there's just something about it. I, I just really love driving. At least if it has a manual transmission, I love driving a car. And as soon as you throw an automatic in a car, to me, it just kills it. Like, it's just, ever since I learned manual and I really wanted to get into it, like, ever since I embraced it, it's been, like, a way of life, really. I mean, I don't enjoy driving automatic cars at all. I mean, I just, I'm sure if you put me in, like, an automatic Lamborghini and, you know, had me do some, uh, some pulls in it, um, I, I would have another opinion, but I think just for like a, a fun daily car if you don't have to deal with a ton of crazy traffic everywhere it's just it's just so much more fun you really feel the car and interact with it you know but yeah this car has been pretty cool so far i mean it's turbocharged four cylinder uh from 2015 i got all the bells and whistles too like i got heated steering wheel and heated seats and nice leather recaros so ooh, this is a cool little lake i could fly here it's pretty close to where I uh, where I'm living. I might hit that on the way back. I want to do some driving first. Yeah, and the other thing about this video too is, you know, anybody who's watching, um, like, let me know if this is something I should do more of. Uh, do, just doing some like driving around content, or at least just, you know, filming. This is almost like a, uh, a you know, a, a moto. What do you call it? Like an automotive vlog type of thing. Like, because it's still it's still a drone video, but I'm. I'm, you know, filming more of the behind the scenes stuff and I happen to like cars as well. So I may as well show you guys what I'm driving and, and take you along with me. Also, I'm curious how this camera angle turns out because it's in an interesting spot, but I think it's kind of cool because you can see the whole cabin. These roads when it was fall were so pretty. There's a lot of overhanging trees. It's like my favorite type of roads to drive down. Um, I don't know if any of you have been 
through uh, M22 in, in the Lower Peninsula of Michigan. Uh, that road has a lot of sections that are like that where it's a little bit of like some windy S turns and then some nice uh, like coverage from the trees. It's so beautiful during the fall. Also in the UP, if you go up towards Copper Harbor during the fall, it's the same thing. It's like, I, this year I, I really hope to get up to the UP and, and take this car down those roads and get some cool fall photos. And so something I probably should have recorded for you guys, but I do have, I installed a blow-off valve on this car, and I did also, I also did a, um, a vacuum source reroute, so it's all like car stuff that I didn't record that I probably should have. It's kind of rattling around a little bit. We got a stalemate. <laughs> I think we can do a little bit of spirited driving. What do you think? Got some giddy up. A lot more than the fit, that's for sure. All right, YouTube. So we got to somewhat of our destination here. I'm gonna grab this guy, get the drone up in the air, and took some photos of the church here, and kind of just did a nice little hike. Uh, there's some trails that go up and all through here for part of the Ice Age Trail in Wisconsin. So yeah, I just wanted to enjoy the hike for a minute there, so I didn't really record anything. But now we're here. And uh, there's dogs barking over there. I'm gonna pop the drone up and just take you guys along with me and, and see what we can do. You know, a little bit of a relaxing flight. Yeah, okay, that looks perfect. So I'm looking here at the histogram and I know you guys are kind of looking at a screen of a screen with me in there. Anyway, that's where I'm looking. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of the glare. If I hold it towards me, if I angle it like that, it's a little better. Uh, so we gotta wait for the GPS to warm up and then the we will take out. Oh, Please there we go. The so I wanted to record here. I'm gonna get some slow-mo. My shutter speed's terrible because uh, I didn't feel like putting an ND filter on. It's too much work. It's not really that much work, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's go everybody. Enjoy. Yeah. 